back to my channel. I'm James, and today we're going to be discussing one of these great crime action adventure movies that has some really great performances by Kevin Costner, Sean Connery, Andy Garcia, and a bunch of others. Now, some people say they didn't like Robert De Niro as much as Al Capone, but that's another story for later on. So today I'm excited to announce we're going to deep dive into The Untouchables on 4K Ultra HD. And this is a brand new 4K restoration and remaster from Paramount Studios. Now today we're going to be talking about the film, giving you my thoughts on the film, going in and I'll be doing my exclusive 4K versus the original Blu-ray image comparisons to show you what the differences are between this new 4K restoration and remaster versus the original Blu-ray release. I'm also going to go through all of my data and testing that I exclusively do and tell you what the results were of this. And then at the end, I always wrap it up with my review score and let you know if this is something worth spending your money on and upgrading to, or if it's something you should skip. Now I do have something exciting that I'm going to share with all of you here before we dive into a little bit more about the untouchables. I just now have available on this YouTube channel a brand new collector's VIP club for each of you to join. When you join this membership, you'll get several members only perks, benefits, and advantages that are very exclusive only to this membership. Along with this, you will get special VIP member badging next to your name that shows to everyone your collector's VIP club status. And it also shows your continuing support of this YouTube channel and all these videos that I work hard to create for all of you. Now I will have the link for this for you to join listed in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. It's also on the main page of this YouTube channel. It's the join button. And when you click on that, it allows you to see the benefits that you get, all the extra advantages, and then to join the club. And this is something I wanted to create for all of you to say thank you and give you something special for supporting this YouTube channel. So I do want to say thank you to everyone that supported me over the years. And this is something for all of you that I will be adding additional benefits and surprises along the way in this membership. But this is a way for you to show that you're a big fan and a big contributor to this YouTube channel and all these videos I create. So I look forward to seeing each one of you join this collector's VIP club and seeing this community grow. And I just want to say thank you again for all of your support. Now we're going to start off with the Blu-ray image above. This is the original unfiltered image from the Blu-ray disc that's on here. So as I've explained before, this is without all the stuff you can turn up on your TV, like color saturation to 100 or any of the other features. But this is the natural image that's on this disc. Now, as you probably noticed, and you probably might have actually remembered this if you own this original Blu-ray release, was it had a lot of DNR and was a very soft image overall. Um, they used a lot of DNR to get rid of the film grain, and it just really, really had a waxy and soft appearance overall. Now in comparison to the 4K Ultra HD image that you're seeing above, the 4K Ultra HD is a drastic improvement in every single area. Now as you probably noticed between the two now that you're seeing them up above, on the 4K Ultra HD release, they did not use DNR, which I am very thankful for. As most of you know, as being a huge cinephile, I love having things in the original way that they were intended. That means film grain, whether you love it or you hate it, if it was naturally on it, you don't want it taken out because you lose depth in the image, you lose skin tones, you lose so many parts of the image that were naturally there that were intended to be there because of the way it was filmed on the original film stock. Well, I'm happy to say for the first time on 4K Ultra HD, it did retain the natural film grain. They did not DNR and it is drastically a huge improvement over that Blu-ray release. And I will say overall, the Untouchables on 4K Ultra HD with this brand new restoration and remaster is probably one of the biggest improvements over the previous Blu-ray release that I've seen in a long time. I mean, for me, having all the natural film grain and the depth in this image, skin tones obviously looked great in the 4K Ultra HD. But the big thing, because the natural film grain was there, you'll see in like the backgrounds, especially when you're watching on a high-end 4K TV, and I use a Panasonic UB820 to watch my stuff through as well, 
and there was so much more depth behind that you could see. You could see cracks in the buildings. You could see things like in the grass or in their costumes and clothing that they were wearing. Um, numerous scenes in Kevin Costner's home and things like that. And there's so many details in the cars and the costumes and the time period that they were filming this as that really shine through on the 4K that you never could notice on the original Blu-ray release. And it's such a shame because that Blu-ray release was all we've had for many, many years. Though that Blu-ray was one of the early, early Blu-ray releases when the first format first came out anyways in the first few years. So I do kind of give them a little bit of leeway there because they were learning how to work with Blu-ray format way when The Untouchables first came out on Blu-ray. Well, I'm happy to announce that this release, Paramount got their act together on The Untouchables and made a drastic improvement over this that just, I mean, there's no way to explain to you how good it looks, even with these screenshots above. If you're watching this on a 4K TV, what you're seeing there is standard HDR. Well, on this release, you do get Dolby Vision and HDR10. Though I will say on this 4K Ultra HD release, the Dolby Vision did look a little bit better than the HDR10 presentation. Now, they both looked good and weren't slouches in any shape or form. It's just that the Dolby Vision, I felt like had one up over the HDR10 presentation. Um, though, like I said, you'll enjoy both of them compared to the old Blu-ray because that old Blu-ray looks absolutely horrendous, especially detail-wise, when setting them side by side, especially because they took all that film grain out with DNR and just, it, it just looked really bad on that Blu-ray. Now make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this content. Now talking about audio wise in this, this does have English Dolby Atmos on it. It also has an English Dolby True HD 7.1 mix. Now, I thought the Dolby Atmos on this was actually a lot of fun. Now, do I think it's reference quality or one of the best out there? Like I really thought Moonfall, which I did a review on this YouTube channel here just a few weeks ago about, and I did that one before the release date, and that one was absolutely outstanding. That was one of those reference quality audio mixes for basically a Dolby Atmos setup. Well. This one sounds good, but it's not anywhere near like those. I do think over the original Blu-ray release, the Dolby Atmos mix that they did for this does sound quite a bit better in clarity, and it was very crisp, and you could hear a lot more bass when it needed to be there. And just overall, the 4K Ultra HD outperformed the Blu-ray's audio mix by far. So I did really think the Dolby Atmos added to the quality of what made this release so nice. Um, if you don't have Dolby Atmos, the English Dolby True HD 7.1 is a nice audio mix as well. It sounded really good and I enjoyed that as well. It definitely was a big upgrade again over the Blu-ray. Other audio options that are on here, you do get a Dolby Digital 5.1. That's gonna be in like Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Russian, and there's dozens more that are on there, but those are just to give you a few. There is other audio options for my worldwide audience that are included on this disc. Subtitle wise, you do get subtitles, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Japanese, and dozens more as well. I mean, literally when you first load up this disc, it comes up listing out dozens of audio and menu options listed that you choose from on it. So Paramount did a good job with that. Anyone worldwide, that link I'll have listed down in the description section and as a pinned comment. If after watching this review, you decide you're gonna pick this up, I will have that Amazon link listed down below. You click on that, made it nice and easy. It takes you straight out to Amazon. But you can import this anywhere worldwide because the disc in this is region free. So because of all those audio and subtitle options, basically no matter where you live worldwide, this is going to play in any player anywhere worldwide. Now showing you what you get in this. It does come with a slip cover, though I will point out right off the bat, I did not like how it cut off the words off the slip cover. I don't know if that was intentional with the art because on the inside it's the same way, but it looks like they just kind of cut the words in an odd way. To me, the picture is kind of like photoshopped in there. I'm not as big a fan as the photo on it, but it is a nice slip cover. I like getting those. It says Untouchables on the side. Then it goes through on here. Now I will touch on the special features here. Special features wise, you get all the same legacy special features that were on the original Blu-ray release. They just carried them over to this and they did not add anything new that I could see. Everything was identical between both of these special feature wise. So if you're wanting something new special feature wise, they didn't do that. They spent all their time and money on the audio and the visual quality on this. And I'm glad they did that part of it because it is a huge upgrade, but you do get a nice selection of special features. It's just, they're the same as what we had before. Now you do get a digital copy in this as well. You get a 4K digital copy and that is inside the box as well. 
Now, like I said, same cover art. You did cut it off on the inside here as well. And what you probably noticed is there's no Blu-ray copy in this. That is because what Paramount is doing these days inside here, they give you your digital copy code. And then on this side is your 4K Ultra HD disc. Now, I actually like what Paramount Studios is doing here. Some people complain about it because they say, well, I didn't get a new Blu-ray copy of the movie. I'm not upgrading to get another Blu-ray copy. I already own the Blu-ray copy, so I don't really care to get another copy of this. To save money, Paramount Studios is releasing these at a lower price point for all of us to be able to buy, but not including a Blu-ray, even remastering a Blu-ray or doing a new 4K scan to put on the Blu-ray. They're doing it all on a 4K Ultra HD disc. And they did this recently in the Escape from LA that I got. And I talked about that here recently on our YouTube channel as well. But basically on these, I like what they're doing because it does save a bunch of money. They're releasing these right around $19.99, which is an outstanding price point. Because I like the idea they're putting the work behind these, but they're not spending the extra money and charging you an extra five bucks or sometimes like Disney does, they charge you an extra 10 bucks basically because they're giving you that extra disc. To me, it's not worth it. I don't need it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch the 4K anyways. So it does come with your 4K Ultra HD disc and this is a BD66. So it's not a BD100. It did have room for the content, though as you all know, I really like BD100s, but BD66 was fine. There wasn't any compression issues. I didn't have any issues with blocking, compression, or banding on it that I noticed. Um, it did play seamlessly through that. Now the disc is region free, like I mentioned a little bit before. So no matter where you live worldwide, importing through that link I have listed in the description section below, it'll take you to the Amazon of your country. So when you click on that link, I have it set up, it'll take you to the Amazon of your country. But no matter what, this disc is region free and it's the same disc they're gonna have everywhere because it has all your options for choosing before you go into the menu, what audio or language option you want for it. Now I thought this 4K Ultra HD release was very nice. I thought it was very filmic looking. The film grain was phenomenal on it. I didn't think there was any heavy fluctuations. There was some slight ones I noticed every once in a while, but they weren't heavy and they didn't take you out of the film. Like some of those I've talked about that have horrible vibrations or literally they go from DNR to film grain to DNR. They didn't have any of that. It actually looked great throughout the whole thing. In my opinion though, The Untouchables is one of those films that I feel like goes very well along with The Godfather. And I did that review here a couple of months ago, back early, way before it came out. Paramount Studios sent that to me about two or three weeks before the release date. I worked on that and got that one out. That one was huge. Well, I've always felt like The Untouchables went so well along with The Godfather. And here's what I mean by that. In the sense of The Untouchables was kind of going from the other side. The Godfather was more of the crime syndicate family side of it, you know. This is more the police side of it. Now, do I feel like the bad guy in this is Robert De Niro's characters as Al Capone was as good as like, you know, the Godfather or the actors in that were? No, I think that Robert De Niro as Al Capone was a little bit over the top, but the acting in this is so great from Kevin Costner and Sean Connery. And I mean, heck, Sean Connery got an Academy Award, if I remember correctly, for this film. And that was a big deal. I've always liked Sean Connery. I thought he was great in The Last Crusade. and. I just liked a lot of what he did, and some of you might not have liked this film, but I really did like First Night with him in it. I thought Sean Connery was great in that one, but some people say it wasn't very like King Arthur way it should have been, but I like that film. Hope that one's coming to 4K sometime, but anyhow, digressing. Uh, I thought the acting in this was great. I thought the side of it showing the police and Prohibition era, and I just overall thought the film was outstanding and I love watching it. It's up there with one of my favorite like crime drama sagas from back then, just like I love The Godfather. Now, some of you might say The Godfather's like hands and feet above The Untouchables, but to me, they hold up well on different ends for different reasons. Um, and I like them for different reasons, but yes, The Godfather is amazing, but The Untouchables is one of those films you can't neglect watching. It is such a great crime saga, and it has still such a great feeling to this day that going back and watching it on this 4K Ultra HD was really a revelation compared to the original Blu-ray release that this is literally never gonna be watched again. That's how poor this Blu-ray is in compared to this 4K Ultra HD. And I'm hoping the screenshots above, you're watching on a 4K TV or a 4K display that can truly show you the depth and detail behind those because man, this was one of those just absolutely shocking changes from the original Blu-ray release at how different and how much better this looked. The HDR coming through with the vibrancy and just overall the lights to darks really improved the Untouchables drastically. 
Now, my review score for the Untouchables on 4K Ultra HD for this brand new 4K restoration and remaster is an outstanding 9.7. They did a great job with this. Now, Paramount's had some ups and downs. Now, I loved The Godfather and there's some things that they've done that have been great. There's been some 4Ks they've done that have not been so great. And I've talked about those on the YouTube channel here and some of them have been horrible. Well, this one is one of those that is a must buy. You've got to add this one to your collection. The price point of it, $19.99 roughly. Now you might be able to get it on sale for a couple of bucks or so like that. I've seen it go down on Amazon to like $18.99 every once in a while, but literally it just came out here. I think it was like a day or two ago and outstanding price point. You cannot beat the price point they're releasing these at. These are things that I want to support and I want everybody to support so they see they're doing a great job, unlike Disney, that releases a lot of 4Ks at around 30 bucks, and a lot of the times they're not worth it. I mean, they have DNR, they're really soft images, or they're basically upscaled images. Well, in this case, it's a native 4K 2160p. They kept it in the original aspect ratio, 2.35 to 1, they didn't change that at all. And for a film that came out in 1987, I mean, it just looks great. It's 119 minutes runtime. It's got a good runtime for it. It keeps things moving. Kept that natural film grain. This earned that 9.7 and it deserved it. This is a well-earned 9.7 and is one of those you need to buy and add to your collection. If you're gonna pick this up after watching this review though, make sure to go down to one of those links down there below. That does help support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit, but that's at no extra cost to you. Any little support I can get to create these videos helps out. Because as all of you know, to create these Blu-ray versus 4K image comparisons are very expensive. The software I have to get and get everything compiled, and then it takes me anywhere between four to five days to actually create one of these videos for all of you to watch. So that's why I can't release hundreds of videos every week because I don't just sit down and say, hey, this looks great. Yeah, hold it in my hand for a second. I actually have to create all these screenshot comparisons myself, pull all the data off of the disk, do all of the testing, get it all done myself because I don't rely on anyone else's screenshots or anyone else's data. So if you enjoy the content I create here on my YouTube channel, please make sure to give a super thanks down below or a donation through the PayPal donate link below. And then also you can join the membership program in here for the VIP Collectors Club. And that's something I did for all of you as well. So if you love the content I created on this YouTube channel, that is the best way to support this YouTube channel. It's a way to give something back to all of you as well. That when you join that, it gives you emojis and it gives you all these extra benefits like members only votes for videos and your special VIP member status badge that goes next to your name. So when you comment, everybody knows you're a big supporter of my YouTube channel and that you're a VIP club member. So if you want to support this YouTube channel the best way you possibly can, you can join that VIP club membership and it gives you a bunch of perks too to say thank you. And there'll be things that I'll be adding as time goes on, some special hidden surprises and some special things added to that club membership along the way. I had a fun time today. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about this release, if you've seen this movie, and if after watching my review, you're excited to pick this up and if you're gonna pick this up now. I hope all of you have a blessed day, and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.